Hello everyone, our topic today is about Six Star Hotel. I'm Ryan. Six Star Hotel has been a buzzword in recent years, but what does Six Star mean? Does it really exist, or is it just a media hype? After a brief introduction on Six Star Hotels offered by me, Sonic will investigate the comparison of hardware and software between Six Star and Five Star Hotels. Then it is Edward's duty to say if there is any difference on target marketing between the two ranges, followed by Chris's research on challenges for Six Star Hotels, a marketing strategy. Finally, Sharon will conclude our work and explore if it's possible to work out and acknowledge the standard by a recognized bureau in future and what kinds of hotels truly deserve this title. First of all, what is a Six Star Hotel? Unluckily, no travel or hotel rating system in current use awards such a rating. The so-called Six Star Hotels today are self-awarded or proclaimed as a marketing employee and may not have been rated by a legitimate agency. Next question is, what is the first Six Star Hotel? Some say it started with Australia's Plaza Versace. So he Biden of Sunland Group visited House of Versace in 1997 to propose the idea of a Versace branded hotel. Plaza Versace Gold Coast was one of the first fashion branded hotels and the main building was designed in postmodern architecture, style in a broad interpretation of neoclassical architecture. In September 2000, Plaza Versace opened its doors and created a new luxury address on a historic site in southern Queensland, on the edge of Gold Coast Borough Water. Six Star Hotels have been spreading all over the world rapidly ever since. But one thing is for sure, the Middle East has received more colonial interest over its six or seven star hotels than any other region. The most famous one might be Burj Al Arab in Dubai. Its 200 split level suites have rack rates from £1,000 per night. Clients can decide if the helicopter or Rolls Royce transfers 24-hour bubble service, in-suite laptop, spa, designer shopping, or eight restaurants are worth it. However, the Burj Al Arab has said it has never claimed to be anything other than five-star deluxe. The media has positioned us as the world's only seven-star hotel, said a spokesperson. Other six or seven-star hotels all state this extra classification doesn't actually exist and is nothing more than a media label. But undoubtedly, all of these luxury hotels enjoy such glorification and give remarkable profit from the reputation. So it seems that the title is not just a media hype. But the problem is, the standard for luxury continues to rise in hotels around the world. Without a recognized standard, it is expected to have 8 star, 9 star or even 20 stars hotels in future. Our next part, let's welcome Sonic to catch up with the latest luxury in 6 or 7 star hotels. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Actually, hotel rating judgments are complex. There are several rating standards in the world. The star rating systems is an official standard applied by countries such as America, Australia, China, and European countries. As the national star rating systems are used by different countries, so a four-star hotel in USA may differ with a four-star hotel in Australia. The triple A rating systems is a massive influence standard implied by US. They use diamonds instead of stars to express hotel and restaurant rating levels. The triple A rating systems concentrate more on hardware. The detailed standard can be seen in operation, exterior public areas, guest security, fire protection, housekeeping maintenance, furnishings, illumination, guest rooms, and so on. The leading hotels of the world is a prestigious luxury hospitality organization representing the world's finest hotels and resorts, headquartered in New York City, which maintains offices in 22 cities around the world. Other regional organizations and rate systems are many such as European Hotel Stars Union and the official Hotel Guide. In all these standards and organizations, 
there's no actually official standard for six star hotels. However, the hardware standard is far behind. Far behind. For example, internet is a luxury accessory in guest rooms 15 years ago. However, now even in budget accommodations, it is not a surprise to see a wireless hub for internet. When we talk about software of hotel service quality, of the hotel, the service quality is the most important element. Take Ritz Carlton for example. It is a world famous five star hotel brand which belongs to Marriott. The three steps of service is a cream of rich, of rich value. The first one is a warm and sincere greeting. Use the guest name and anticipation and fulfillment of each guest's needs. Fun farewell. Give a warm goodbye and use the guest name. The Ritz Carlton recognizes the employees as ladies and gentlemen who serves ladies and gentlemen. It is believed that the service quality hasn't made too much progress since the first modern hotel was studied in Paris a hundred years ago. Moreover, the quality is far behind because jobs in hotels are not recognized as a decent job that serves ladies and gentlemen but a low income, labor force intensive industries. So it is concluded that hardware is progress and was the name of six star hotels. But the service quality hasn't been innovated recently. Well, please allow me to welcome Edward to introduce more on five star hotel marketing. Thanks. Thanks, Sonic. It is hard to orientate the six star market because there is no obvious boundaries between the five star hotel and the six star hotels. That means when we ask ourselves what is the difference between those two ranks of hotels? The answer is often unmeasurable. The advantage is that the six star homes over the five star hotel is tiny and indistinct. For example, if there is a hotel that meets the general standard of five star hotels, but invest more money on the luxury and the decoration, it claims that it belongs to the six star ones. So that it is beneficial for it to draw more the attention of the potential customer by means of this smart six star strategy. In addition to that, when we look at a case study in a city of China such as Chengdu, for example, there are in total 105 star hotels in the city which are provided to meet the, a certain level of customers. However, there are some and several other hotels which claim that they belong to the six-star hotels, but in fact, their level and standard are still the five-star hotels. Almost, in fact, they are almost the same compared with the five-star hotels in terms of both facility, construction, as well as service qualities. Thus, they are also targeting the customers who has five-star hotel consuming ability. Actually, according to the international standard, the criteria of five-star hotel is already the highest quality of accommodation, facility, and services. The customers who feel very well cared for by professionals, attentive staff, providing flawless guest services, a hotel setting the highest international standard for the industry with an air of luxury, exceptional comfort, and a sophisticated atmosphere. So the problem is for the international criteria, five hotel is already the highest rank. Thus, if any hotels declaring six star, they have to justify where the difference lies between the two. If there does exist or does not exist any difference between the two, in essence, for example, the service quality difference or the hardware facility construction difference, the concept of six star is meaningless or at most 
a marketing strategy adopted by the operators themselves instead of an objective standard. And the consequences is the whole hospitality industry will fall into a vicious circle that they have already just uh, had done it before. Their hotel six star or even the seven they will claim their hotel star six stars or even seven stars to give their hotel a better ranking reputation for the sake of their own. Since in this way they can distinguish themselves from those five star hotel to attract more visitors by means of just investing several millions more, uh, have several millions more on the just the, the decorations of their hotels. Therefore, we can come to the conclusion that there should exist some kind of just a strict standards of strict boundaries between the five star hotels and the six star ones in terms of targeting the consumer markets. That's the end of my part. Let me welcome Chrissy.